Hi, I'm Liam Grace reporting live from the ATP World Tour Finals in London. In October 2017, tennis overtook football as the sport with the most red flags in the world for match fixing. Here are five key reasons why tennis has become the worst sport in the world for match fixing. Reason one, two to tango. Unlike in football where you have 11 players playing against 11 opponents, in professional men's tennis it's just one against one. Immediately, this lowers the risk of getting caught in match fixing because there are less people who could potentially find out. Reason two, not enough reward. I'm outside the tour finals today where the top eight players in the world are battling it out for supremacy. As you can imagine, they are paid the big bucks. But at the lower end of the game, when you start looking at players below the top 200, those guys are not paid nearly as well as footballers at a similar level. They see how much the likes of Roger Federer make in a given year, and decide they want to live a similar superstar lifestyle. Reason three, hard to prove. A player could deliberately lose a match without fixing. This is known as tanking. Sometimes players try to make more money by losing early in one tournament so that they can get to another with a higher prize fund. Reason four, so many matches. Eastleigh Football Club, a semi-professional football team in Hampshire, drawing crowds of around 2,000 people week in, week out. In tennis, thousands of semi-professional tournaments are played every year on the ATP Challenger Tour and the ITF Futures Tour. They are much harder to police than in football because a lot of these tennis tournaments are played in front of one man and his dog. Reason five, insider information. If a particular tennis player isn't at full strength, his coach, trainer, spouse, family members or friends might know about it before betting markets do. They can then use this knowledge or pass it on to other bettors. 